Today's been crazy. We've had golf cart, shopping, dropping stuff off, and now produce picking. So just kind of a day in the life of uh, Ronnie and Brittany. <laughs> Too. <laughs> I, I do. He does. I do. There are a few things in the house I absolutely despise doing, <laughs> and cleaning the shower and tub is one of them. So, yeah. luckily, uh, he helps me out with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, there's that cat. Get out of here. We have too many cats already. God darn cat. We keep blocking the fence, but they just keep, it keeps coming back. Getting fed is what it is. It's, know? well, we don't feed it. It's, it's stealing food. It's a thief. <laughs> thief cat. Let's see if that cat can get through cement. I mean, I've been working on it for a while and it just finds like another little spot. <laughs> Squeaks on through. Neighbor's property yeah. grows a little wild. Um, Great vines and the sheep enjoy I remember every, them. every year we would have to come in here and yeah because they would start growing so far out the sheep do the work for us man we need to trim them up they're they're looking a little raggedy well they're supposed to be self you know shearing or self hair you know they're hairless sheep no yeah. they're hair sheep no, hair they're... sheep lose their hair don't they no, or is no, it hairless no, hairless they're, sheep they're not, they're not hairless <laughs> <laughs> but they're supposed to lose their coat. Oh, Let's just say that. Yeah, they're dorpers. Yeah, see, it's like if we we need to assist nature sometimes. Yeah. By the time it comes off, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't step in. You I know. know. <laughs> Are you guys itchy? Woo! Oh, you hear that? It's blocked now. You ain't coming back. <laughs> Get out of here. There's a cat fight going on. Ronnie found this hawk feather. There is a massive hawk nest at the top of this tree. Right, now that we have all of the animals' waters filled up, cleaned, it's time to start the project of the day. <laughs> She's a little dusty. <laughs> so pretty much this cable is just barely holding on. <laughs> Look, it's literally hanging on by one strand. That is crazy. That's the size of the cable. Oh my goodness. And that's the one strand holding it. Yikes. That's why we were trying not to use reverse, because I knew it was about ready to give way. It's been, it's been a couple weeks. We were waiting on the time to do it and the parts to come in. And uh, yeah, it was pretty much just like a Ford golf cart. There was no, no backing up. So yeah. we were being like strategic and how we pulled up to things to yeah, make it's, sure it's rough driving with no reverse it's kind of a pain in the butt you know the other thing is we have a set of motor mounts for this thing because the engine is just like rocking in here that one's all like totally separate see yeah that's not good the engine's just sitting in here and then uh <laughs> the reverse cable so she needs a she needs a little love. A couple little things, you know? yeah. When you uh, go to take off, you can hear the motor like clunk, <laughs> clunk, clunk, you know. So I figured, since we have to do the cable, we'll just do that at the same time. Yeah, why not?
Yeah, I probably had these for like a few weeks. And then we've been driving it no reverse for like a month. If you watch some of the last videos, we're like, don't back that thing up. <laughs> Unless you have to. This is like my truck right here. I drive this thing every single day. My truck drives like once a month. <laughs> so, it's very important that the golf cart is We went to our P.O. box and found this lovely letter from Lazy Days Ahead, Jesse and Lisa. I just wanted to give you guys a shout out and say thank you so much. This is our first YouTube magnet on the shop fridge. And if you have not subscribed or checked out uh, Lazy Days Ahead, I'll put a link to their YouTube channel in the description below. So be sure to go over, say hey, tell them Ronnie and Brittany sent you over. Um, they're wonderful people, great channel, and thank you guys so much. not yeah and uh if you haven't seen our videos when we take the golf cart on adventures sometimes it gets a little wild <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, and she's back in shit. Oh, oh. oh we see the whole thing. Oh my gosh. She's gonna be like one to one. Just yeah. Boom. Now yeah. we're really gonna have to take it on now, an adventure. Now just burn out. <laughs> yeah, look at this nail. Oh, it came <gasps> out. That probably was oh, it's little though. Yeah, got oh. lucky. It was like stuck in all sideways. Oh man. It didn't spill too far in. I mean yeah. got lucky on that one. Yeah. This one right here. Did not get lucky. Not so yeah, lucky. Don't touch that one. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Just leave it. It's its own plug. Yeah. yeah. That's what, that's what was holding it. Yeah. One of the wires. Oh my goodness. It's pretty tough. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> that's, okay. Maybe it'd have been fine forever. Yeah. Maybe, Who knows how long it was yeah, like that too. I don't know. Maybe I was just worried about it and it'd have been fine. Right. No, I noticed that I think it stretched out because I noticed that it wasn't going in the reverse as good. Yeah. And then I tried tightening it up and then, then I realized, oh no, that's it's not an adjustment issue, you know. Yeah. It's a cable issue. <laughs> that's on there good. And it probably did stretch. Okay. Ooh. Perfect. Back in business. Heck yeah. She's a good rig. This is a workhorse right here. Yeah. Should we go take her on a ride? Let's do it. <laughs> That's what breaks the motor mount. You know? <laughs> yeah. It actually feel, it feels more connected. Like I could I could do better Brody's now. So. <laughs> Perfect. Sweet. Yeah. What's the name of the goose it for so long? Okay, we're moving. We are. Look at how fast this thing was. I made all the work worth, you know. Worth well. Yeah. yeah. I'm good now. I feel like it's balance. I'm no stress here. You know? <laughs> well, since we got the golf cart up and running better again, um, now I have an order to take to a local spa that carries some of my products. So we're gonna take that. Think, grab some lunch. Maybe hit the chef store for some food. I don't know, but let's go deliver some of these goodies and grab something to eat.
Yeah. <laughs> We're used to a desert bike. Right? It's so. like, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, we gotta, we gotta take out feet. Okay. We're freezing. Okay. okay. dropping off all the spa products and going to the store and grabbing some the bacon chef, the chef store the chef store <laughs> and grabbing some bacon and we like to buy our meat in the big bags from the butcher um and what is it was it a chuck roll uh angus Ang we've oh. been on the angus lately it's a um we buy a large package of Angus chuck roll. It's basically I mean, one cow. If you get Angus, at least you know it's not dairy cow. That's true. You know what I mean? That is true. I don't, there's no Angus dairy yeah. cows. So. Yeah. Angus is really, really good. It's more tender. It's just a better flavored meat. And I don't know if you knew this, but if you buy ground beef from like the grocery store, um, it's like thousands of cows. Like all the leftover pieces just like mixed together and like ground down. It's like so. it's like trimmings from all the le the prime cuts. Yeah. So that so then it's just a mixture of trimming cuts and then a bunch of different cows. Yeah. So that's kind of rough. Yeah. So we buy a large package, one cow, and yes, so not a dairy <laughs> cow, and we grind our own ground beef from it. And I'm pretty sure it's still cheaper than your ground beef. Yes. You know, a little more labor. Yeah. But way better quality. Woo! Man. Choppas. <laughs> yeah, get in the choppa. <laughs> All right, so today's been kind of a crazy day with the golf cart and it was super sunny and then it got overcast and it even like sprinkled and then now the weather is... Then it was hot when we were in the garage. Yeah. Sweating like crazy. Yeah, yeah. so it's like, it's crazy now and it's then... it's cooled down a little, but getting dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's sun's going down, it's like 7.30 um, and now produce picking. So just kind of a day in the life of uh, <laughs> Ronnie and Brittany. <laughs> two bowls of tomatoes, some bell peppers, some jalapenos. I mean, if you're consistently every few days, we'll have some jars of uh, sauce at the end of the season. Yes. So. Yeah. Uh, we have four two gallon Ziploc baggies in the freezer. And yeah, they're probably at least 10 pounds each. So. Yeah. So four, huh? 
but two 10 pound bags. 40 pounds probably. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of yeah. sauce and but tomatoes. But it, it boils down to a thicker sauce, so it, it does take a lot of tomatoes. It does, to, it really, really does. Sauce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. You guys will have to see when we get to that process. Yeah. Thank you for coming along on today's kind of wild adventure. So much happening today, but we thought yeah. we would bring you guys along. The old rig's good to go. Yeah, we have reverse again. Yeah. Woo so nice, yeah. <laughs> to back it uh, back it up yeah. <laughs> yeah. you don't realize yeah. you know yeah. how much you use reverse until you don't have it oh yeah yeah it's a very important gear yeah <laughs> so all right well we'll see you guys on the next one bye <laughs>